Coast Life, we know there are so many incredible students here in Kent and Sussex counties. Two such students are joining me on the Coast Life couch today. I've got Auburn and Delcy from Sussex Central High School joining me today. Welcome, my friends. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you guys for being here. So you two are part of the International Baccalaureate Program. You're uh, visual arts students within that program. Now, there is sort of the diploma course, and then students can also take individual courses. Mm -hmm. And Sussex Central High School is only the only school in Kenton, Sussex County that offers this, but it's only one of three in the state, I believe. Um, so could you tell me a little bit about sort of the, the program itself and why you guys maybe decided to pursue the visual arts element of this program? Um, I personally really enjoyed um, doing art when I was a little girl. And um, in college, I'm pursuing um, architecture. Ooh. So I thought it would be a good experience, um, good practice to have art in high school yes. and actually like feel that pressure of having to turn assignments in, mm -hmm. going through the process. So I decided to take the art program here in um, IB. Yeah. And so um, because my sister was full IB and I got, I got to saw that, I got to see that um, she felt it, it was easy, mm -hmm. like when she got to college. Yes. She's in the um, honors college in UD, so she felt it more relaxed to be in there after being through the IB program, after going through the IB program. So I felt like it was the perfect thing to go through and keep pursuing in the high school because I thought it was going to help me prepare for college, for make it easier for me for yes. when I go to college. Absolutely. I mean, uh, from what I remember, it's been yeah. a minute <laughs> since I was in high school. Uh, I do remember that the some of the IB credits even take college credit courses. Yeah. So you mm -hmm. may even have fast track to graduation when you get to college. And, and it, it really it definitely prepares you. I can tell you that for sure. Um, I know right now the visual arts students have their work on display. Yes. Is that correct? So let's yes. take a look at what you guys have brought with you. You've got some of your pieces. Uh, my first piece uh, is called um, La Historia de Mi Casa. Ooh. So it's in, the title's in Spanish uh -huh. because uh, my first language is Spanish. And um, my whole uh, exhibition was based on my childhood and um, experiences that I had, how I grew up, what makes my character today. And um, I decided to do a, a picture of my house um, that uh, about a year, over a little over a year ago, uh -huh. uh, burned. Aww. So I decided to commemorate it in a, port in a little picture. And uh, we had to change the color because they don't make this color anymore. Oh, wow. Yeah, they don't make this color anymore <laughs> for signing. So. Uh, we couldn't keep the same color anymore because it would be, have to be custom. So uh, I wanted to keep its original form, even its little mistakes, <laughs> everything <laughs> about the house because it's uh, like a little, like 200 years old. Wow. So everything that was original to the house, as when I saw it when I was a little girl, yeah. I kept it in the picture. So I decided to do that to commemorate it. What a beautiful tribute. It's amazing. Now, I know you said that the title of the piece was in Spanish. What does yes. it mean? It's the story of my house, basically. Yeah, that's the translation. Wonderful. All right, Auburn, what do you have? Okay, I have three pieces. Um, I'll share this one. I kind of left most of mine unnamed. I want to okay. leave it up to people to kind of, um, up to interpretation. Yeah. Um, I really take inspiration from like femininity mm -hmm. and like being a woman. And yeah. so a big part of me, it's like friendship and getting ready with girls yeah. is like such a, like a really meaningful, powerful moment. And so I wanted to like all the pinks and keeping the same color scheme mm -hmm. with like the three girls here, um, it meant a lot to me. Um, all three of them sort of have some sort of femininity here. Yeah. This one I took was part of my comparative study for IB where we had to create art based off of the three the three pieces that we analyzed. Mm. And so I really love the Art Nouveau style and yeah. so I really wanted to do that with like sort of like the independence of mm -hmm. a woman. Her hand is out sort of like spreading like flower seeds where the yeah. flowers itself like represent independence in general. Yeah. Um, at the time, I had short. I know I short, love the flow of the bob. I had really, sh I had like a short brown, like brown hair, and so mm -hmm. I wanted it to kind of resemble me a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's beautiful. And then lastly, I have this last piece, Ooh. which this is one of my favorite musicians, Fiona Apple. I uh -huh. really loved like her rage, like female rage within mm -hmm. music was like one of my things that I kind of studied within my art three class, mm -hmm. and so it meant a lot to me, like just to portray that in art. I wanted to portray that yeah. emotion and that rage. That's awesome. Wonderful pieces, Thank ladies. Uh, now, for maybe students who aren't old enough to be in the IB program yet, but maybe they're thinking of taking that on when they get to high school or in high school, um, what are maybe some of your recommendations, especially when it comes to the visual arts? Because there's a lot of work that goes into it. Yeah. Um, time management is probably the biggest one. And it's not just for the visual arts, it's for everything. Yes. But 
you don't create a lot of art in your first year, but you still need to sort of keep on that, like mm -hmm. keep on that schedule. Mm -hmm. And so being able to manage your time and continue to work outside of school to think of ideas, come yeah. up with creativity, mm -hmm. like being able to manage your time is just so important for IB. Absolutely. I would also say to, on your first year, I'd say explore. Yeah. You, your senior year, you're basically creating pieces after piece after piece. So your first year as a, in the art program, You'd, you'd want to explore all mediums, all different types, um, go into photography, try out clay, do um, pastels, do everything you can so that you have enough experience for your senior year to test out and like do the things that you um, wanted to, you find appealing to do. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So I know that these wonderful pieces are all on display as well as the other IB students. Where can people go to check out the artwork? Unfortunately, it was all last week um, ah. for the whole week. So <laughs> right now, uh, we have them down. But if you guys would like still to see them, you guys can contact, I guess, the IB department, art department, mm -hmm. and we can show them to you, anybody who like would like to see them. Perfect. And they do the exhibition each year. So right. every yeah. year at school, it's, it's all new pieces. So you'll still Perfect. be able to see hers. If you yes. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> That's <year>. right. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck on graduation and uh, good luck next year. Thank but you. thank you, ladies, for coming in and showing mm -hmm. off these awesome Mm -hmm. But we've got some more Coast Life to show off for you when we get back. We're uh, headed to the science realm when Coast Life gets back. <laughs>